Hello everyone. Today I have the pleasure and honor of welcoming with me Dr. Rucha Herlekar. She has secured a rank of एक मिनट रुको मैं रैंक ही भूल गया तुम्हारी क्या था थर्टी नाइन सर हाँ रुको मुझे रीटेक करना पड़ेगा <laughs> तो के बात करते करते रैंक ही भूल गया चल कोई बात नहीं लेट स्टार्ट अगेन ये बड़ा कॉमेडी टाइप का इंटरव्यू ओके सो हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई हैव द प्लेजर एंड ऑनर ऑफ वेलकमिंग विद मी डॉक्टर रूचा हेलेकर शी हेज सिक्योर्ड अ रैंक ऑफ थर्टी नाइन ऑल इंडिया इन नीट पीजी ट्वेंटी ऑसम परफॉर्मेंस कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन डॉक्टर रूचा एंड वेलकम टू डैम्स कंग्रेचुलेशन Thank you, sir. So, how are you feeling, Rucha? I'm feeling. I'm feeling relieved. Relieved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have been studying so long for this, you know, and finally the day has arrived. Yeah. So, when you check the result, how was the feeling yesterday? I was. Uh, I was really happy, and uh, after the exam, I did not actually expect it uh, because I was not uh, like sure about how it had gone. I uh, so I was like relieved on like and I also really happy. Tell us about yourself mm-hmm. first. Where are you graduate from? Uh, I'm from Pune. I'm a gra- I am an intern currently in BJGMC Pune. Okay. And I have been a student of DAM since 2020 foundation batch. Okay. So when did you actually start preparing for NEET PG? I started preparing. I started. uh the note taking uh, process started when i was in pre final year third minor uh with the foundation course i finished uh the all the 19 subjects before internship so before mm-hmm. internship my notes were ready uh and the mcq solving and the actual uh, preparation i did in internship so the base was in the base you started uh, preparing in third year first you focused yes, on first second third year subject and eventually you finished all nine yes sir by a span of two years yes sir okay so how was your experience with the online classes and face to face classes whatever you have attended in those two years uh so face to face classes were really good i had actually uh, applied for the face to face classes but because of the pandemic they got shifted to online but uh, online also i found like i got adjusted them i adjusted to them like really easily and later i found them to be convenient so i continued with the online all uh, right yes so you finished the notes by the end of final year then you appeared for your university and what was your strategy during internship year uh during internship i uh, we had like in my college we had the uh we had a choice of choosing our batch and postings based on our scores in final year so we could choose our order of postings so i uh, chose it according to my preparation so that i will have a balance of light and heavy postings so that i would be and then i decided my subjects accordingly and i finished the first like i started my uh, like our university i started my preparation after my university exams were over uh after a brief break and uh, i finished my first studying in about 4 to 5 months uh it was like uh like it was pretty fast the first studying was fast so i am like actually you have to decide what kind of reader you are some people read slowly but they take only like they need only two readings to understand everything and remember but i for me i'm the kind of person who reads fast but i need multiple uh revisions in order uh, to remember stuff so i planned my readings in that way so uh in 4 to 5 months i had finished the first reading and after that i planned my revisions accordingly all right so did you utilize tnd during the internship uh yes sir i utilized tnd in the last two months i uh, like i joined the fast track tnd which i found really useful because i did not have time during internship to like watch the tnd videos and make notes again so how was so, your experience with fast track tnd it was very concise sir i uh, i read mostly the fast track tnd and the dvt in my last month of preparation it was like a uh, very concise very easy to revise and uh, i also like it was like almost like my 20th notebook like it became my 20th notebook apart from tnd and class notes any other feature in dams that you utilize emedicos app Uh, sir, I used to do the CB, uh, the not the CBT, the GTS. I used to give the GTS. I used actually I used a mixture of a uh, different different so- GTS from different different sources. But I I utilized the GTS and initially I used to like whenever I had time I used to give the 
like this was uh, in my pre final final year but i also used to give a bit of class tests or the subject wise test the feature which used to be there but then i did not get much time to do that during internship all right all yes, right sir. so what was your strategy in the last one month towards the exam uh sir my last one month was a uh, very like like it became much much easier because of dvt like i just wanted to like uh like like the dvt which like we were given was almost like i said it was like my 20th notebook so my last strategy la- in the last month i revised all the subjects again uh i used to do the fast track tnd notes the dvt and i had annotated my dvt uh, like the dvt notes in such a way that i added few things to it so i was able to revise like uh, one subject in like two days or one and a half day so i could finish all 19 subjects again in the last month great great yeah okay any particular advice you would like to give to your juniors who are watching you today on this interview and would like to hear from you how should they start their preparation from third mbbs if they would like to start now uh if you're currently in third mbbs i would just say start with your uh, start with watching the videos from scratch like and that like build your base from first year then second year and then third year and um, diligently make notes like i would prefer that you make like i prefer to use handwritten notes so for like i would suggest that you like make handwritten notes and annotate them in way ways you can which you can remember and also i would suggest that don't jump from one source to another source uh that is uh, like that might waste your time so like don't be in like a fear of missing out uh don't jump from one source to one once you've decided your source once you've decided that your notes are your source keep on adding stuff to it but let it be in one place don't scatter your uh sources it becomes like your entire preparation i think the crux of your preparation is how well you can revise all the 19 subjects in the last two months and how how much you can cover so for that to be done well you need to have like you need to prepare consistently uh, uske pehle great yeah okay so before we finally conclude this interview any but uh, particular person in your family in your friends or in your teacher that you would like to thank upon i would like to thank all my dance teachers for uh, and also i would also like to thank uh, like uh, like uh, like the teachers of subjects i really did not like i found difficult like surgery and uh, psm psm which i did not like but i found like psm to be really easy because of sir uh siddha chekar sir and uh, uh, obviously i would thank you i would thank sumer sir and i want to thank my family and uh, also my friends who were my study partners because all of us uh, like got through like all of us did decently well like very well in fact and so yeah uh that's all thank you so much rucha it was such a pleasure talking to you we wish you all the best for your future and for inict as well Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.